Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our New York Red Bull save. So, we have uh, now got the League Cup to be played. We got a bye through the group stage thanks to the fact that we won the uh, league itself, so we now get to go through. Um, since then, uh, uh, when was the last we played FC Dallas and... Uh, excuse me. And... Uh, into Miami, which we won 2-0 and 3-0. I uh, then went on to draw against the Galaxy 1-1, unfortunately. Uh, then we beat Philadelphia 3-0 and managed to beat uh, Colorado 1-0 itself. Then we went on to a bit of a stretch of games with nothing going on. We played a friendly against PSG and won 3-1. I don't know, nor how. Uh, I, I just simmed it because it's a friendly. But yeah, we won. And they didn't play a bad team. I don't know. Obviously, they made a lot of subs. We made a lot of subs. I don't know, man, but we won, and I'm just kind of amazed. So that was kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's fun. Uh, but now we have the um, Leafs Cup uh, quarterfinal as well as a Champions League game, which shouldn't be this close together, but um, according to the game, that's how it is. And then we have the Champions Cup final in a week after that. And then a week after that, we have another uh, game. So we have kind of a hectic group of things right now. So obviously we have this game, then a few days and a few days. So it's... It is absurd, and I there's a lot of games all at once. Um, it's going to be hectic and it's going to be mental but I think we get into the first game um, we do have some injuries Carmona and Rudy have both picked up injuries uh, annoyingly Wardle is really annoyed and wants to opt out of his contract uh, doesn't want to continue which really really annoys me um, but we'll have to deal with it we'll see if we can convince him to sign in the meantime it's not impossible Morgan was injured for a little bit, so we can bring him back into the lineup. Kinyas is still struggling. Tolkien's no longer suspended. Um, let's clear the bench. So we'll go with uh, Marucci in goal. We'll go Melanda. Um... Yeah, Reyes, Rudy, where's a four? He's injured as well. Well, hopefully those guys can help out enough. Um, then we'll go midfielders. We'll go Caceres, Edelman. Um, then I guess forward. I mean, honestly, I think we kind of just... Yeah, as I say, we kind of just pick ourselves at this point. Come to think of it, it's just that one decision which I think Reyes is the better option for. Now Brunelli is tired, so I guess we'll go with that. Just not um not a brilliant time for us in terms of uh the all the players and everything. What do they suggest to do? Fernandez, Farios, Casters, Melanda. He's pretty tired. Unless it's a little better. And go with this. Yeah, I don't know why they had to change squad numbers. That was a bizarre thing. Like, we had to input new squad numbers for this stuff. Some of these guys were injured at the time. We had a little flu that went through the team. That caused some issues, which was annoying. But a few people were out with that. Because let's not talk about the fact that I accidentally said not to send him home. Which was really dumb of me. And is completely my fault that I just forgot to do that. Like, that was just really dumb, and I stupidly did that. And the next thing you know, two more guys got it. I was like, oh, my God, what the fuck is happening? Tolkien driving down the wing. Farias into Yearwood. Back out to Hydeman. Who shot is over the top? Passing it around by Pumas a bit here. Some good pressure being applied to force him into the middle. Someone needs to make a challenge there. Oh, Wardle. Uh, 
Wardle's been caught horribly flat-footed. I also think this comes from this bit in the middle here by Yearwood not putting it a challenge. Tolkien doesn't need to do that, and then Wardle just doesn't even see the guy running, which is really, really bad. But, um, that's, that's fun. Gotta love players making poor decisions. Increase the distance, the tempo. We'll see if we can dribble a little more and we'll look to counter. Alright, back to Cornell. Into Wardle there. Finds Tolkien out wide. Alright, Tolkien. We literally said he can dribble more and he just decides to bless, but he's found Omir in a great position. Doesn't square it. I thought he was going to square that. We were just going to have an easy tap in. Tolkien with the set piece. Headed clear. Backwards to Duncan, though. Hydeman, the two of them combining, and it's the end of the highlight. Should win that. Nice job. Good year, Wood. Lovely Van Zier from distance. Another set piece. The tactical change seems to have worked so far. Swung in. There he is. The big boy. Gets another off a set piece. He's so good at those, which is the reason we really want to keep him. But, again, we'll, we'll see what we can manage to do with him. If he doesn't want to stay, obviously we can't really keep him. We don't have magical powers where we can keep someone if they don't want to be here. Omir now. Can he make it another for a set piece? Two for two. Close, though. It's close. So it's, a, it's an opportunity. We're, we're getting better here. Nice, Morgan. Van Zier! Lovely! And we are back in the lead. Well, we're, we're now in front. The comeback's completed. Back in control, and that is brilliant from us. Give some praise, shall we? Nice job, everyone. Good good job to get back in this and take control of the game. Fullbacks are going to need some subs, and we just do not have them. It's really annoying. Nearly about the 60th minute here. Maybe another highlight for us, if we can win this back. Good possession. It's a great attack so far from Pumas. We'll take that, though. Very tame effort. Nothing that should really trouble us. Farias not having the best of days, so we'll get him off. Uh, Van Zier not looking too tired. Go with that. Nearwood will go for Caceres. Melanda will go for Brunelli, just because I know Reyes is slightly injured. We'll go with that for now. Just because I think that'll be the best we can do in terms of fitness. And we'll figure out something for Duncan soon. Alright, who can play out here? Alright, Wardle can play out there. That's good. We'll get Reyes in here. Boom. That's one, two, three, four, five, five. Swap these around. my finger somehow earlier. I'm not sure how I did that. Go 
Good job there. Can we force them? Yes. Omir. Van Zier. What a finish. What a finish for his second of the game. What a goal that is. Maybe he's going to get 20 goals again this season. He's definitely turned up as of recently. And he's doing a lot better, which is good to see. This should be enough to see this out now. And we'll pick up a win against Pumas and the Leaks Cup. And that'll be brilliant. We'll go on to the next round. Maybe some trophies are on the cards for us this season. All right, guys, come on. Can we close this down? Wardle, you're playing out wide. That's fine. Ball in behind. Brunelli, well done. Into the hands of Coronel. Can we find someone here? We're going to go long. There's a nice throw forwards. Nope, we're going to go long. Head it down where Rodriguez can get it. Omir can find Garcia, who... Hurts his ankle, but Rodriguez! Luciano Rodriguez picks up a fourth, and that is going to really kill this game off now. There is no shot Pumas get back into this one. This really should just end it. I'd, I'd say we, we are fully through into this next round. I have no scare or concern really now. I think maybe we can drop the tempo a bit, boost the time wasting. We don't need to counter. We can hold our shape. Slow down. Go to the center backs. Don't need to go to the full backs. We'll roll it out instead. Drop the lines off a little bit. Do that. And we'll do that. There we are. Van Zier, player of the match, a lovely job to come back from one dog down. A little tactical adjustment did the right trick, and we have absolutely smashed it. Can't really complain about that one. 4-1 win over Pumas. Not, uh, not much to say there. Well, I'm very happy with that. It's good to see, and um, uh, yeah, feel good about that. Comeback win, some stuff like that. It's been uh, something we've struggled with to do the season a bit so it's a good feeling to see that for certain but with that being said i'm now going to skip ahead to the ottawa what are they called uh, atletico ottawa game and i'll oh never mind we actually what we play the semi-final and then the next the champions league game the next day what the hell? I don't know how we're going to be fit enough for this. Oh my god. Um. All right. Well, we will see you next time. I will catch. Uh, I will uh, skip ahead now to the semi-final. Okay, everyone. So I am absolutely bamboozled. I have no understanding of what's going on. It says Wednesday, right? We're not going crazy here. We all see it says Wednesday up in the corner, right? So we all we all see it says Wednesday. So it's right here. I'm not going crazy. Wednesday. Right here it says Wednesday. That's today. That's right here. Yesterday, we were supposed to play a League's Cup semifinal. It never happened. What is going on? So these are set to happen. Uh... Wednesday, they're ha supposed to happen today. So they're playing today. So why was my match then? I'm so outrageously confused. I'm so outrageously confused. I have no understanding of what the fuck is going on right now. I, I, I cannot figure this out. This doesn't help me. I, I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. But we're playing Ottawa now. That's what's happening. So let, let's get that done and then we'll see what the fuck happens um Heidman's picked up an injury I tried to rest everyone but it looks like they all like played a game what I rested everyone but I guess they still like fucking played a game so I'm so confused let's just go with a lot of fit players because we should be able to beat these guys so Cornell in goal 
Farias, I think we'll play there just because um, he looked tired. Nosita is not tired. Afori is sort of tired. Uh, Marucci will put uh, first there. Carmona Rodriguez isn't too tired. Zuniga isn't too tired. McGlynn isn't. Edelman isn't. Castorus isn't. So we'll just chuck Castorus on the bench. We'll swap those two. Uh, Lukinias isn't, but he's slightly injured, so I'm not sure if we'll use him. Brunelli is in decent shape at 92, so we'll use those two. I think Nosita is... No, no, no. What am I thinking there? Brunelli is going to be better with it. So that's good there. Tolkien is exhausted. Omir is pretty exhausted. Same with Lalanda. Duncan's at 90, which is feasible. Van Zier is usable to an extent. So we can chuck Van Zier Morgan, and Morgan Yearwood on the bench. Malanda on the bench. Omir on the bench. Everyone else is pretty gassed. The only thing I'd say is swap those two. Before he's not in 100% shape. So let's take a look at the bench. We can dump Lukinas. And we can put Wardle, which means we have all fit player. Actually, no, we can see. So what? Wardle back there. So him and Melanda can cover the defensive positions. Um, McGlynn and Omir, we probably should do this. So Morgan can cover out wide, same with Van Zier, and that, and those guys can cover those positions. Perfect. That should cover everything. I don't think we need anything else in that sense. So we should be good there. Hopefully everyone else holds up match-wise, um, and uh, we'll get into things. Definitely a bit of a change team, not one we're probably used to playing, but it'll be good for these guys. Everyone can get some time in and play, and uh, not much to complain about in that sense. Thank God it's uh, these guys as well, because they're definitely not going to be as good. Now, I don't I don't know how well it's going to go, just because it's still prob they're not like the worst team ever, but... Um, we still should have enough quality, I think, to surpass them. And that's what I'm hoping for. Duncan's got it here. Cross, interesting decision. Casaris has got it. Back out to the right back. Crosses it to Luciano Rodriguez. And we're up within two minutes. Maybe I was too, uh, <laughs> maybe I was a little too concerned with things just just a tad all right well not much action going on right now which is fine we'll give some praise for their good job so far um but oh maybe another chance here rodriguez with a deep free kick swung in no sita can't get ahead on it but it's headed forward by those guys edelman can gather pass around some players here afori gets it edelman back to the two center backs who can pass around here Obviously, we want to invite that pressure on so we can then create space in the midfield to play through. Very similar to some Deserbi and Brighton ideas. Lovely play from Afori. Rodriguez! Oh my god, how has he managed to not get that in? How has that stayed out? Could have had his second of the game. He is getting hot right now, though. Very hot right now with some form he's in. Lovely step, Brunelli. Castros has got it here. Can play a wide to Zuniga. Who can find Duncan on a lovely overlap. Ball's a little too short, though, for Duncan, and he's had to slow his run. Farias has found some space. Drives forward. Can he find someone on the back post? He's going to find Zuniga with a lovely finish. Makes it his, the second of the day, third of the season for the young man. And we are into a lead that really should now stand for the rest of the game, and I don't see us folding it anytime soon so i'm happy with that should be in a good position here and uh yeah no real problems i'd say ball has now been smashed forward but it's pretty easy for duncan to handle nice job pass it around the back guys what we want to see Uh, 
A Fori drives forward. Can he find a cross? It's going to cut it back to Casper so he can find Farias. Lovely touch of the pressure. Shot from distance. Forces a brilliant save at him, Elvin. Really was scrambling to get a cross there. We're going to start floating crosses. I'm not complaining. We got a massive fucking center back back there. So I'm not really concerned about that. Well, got no problems there. Very happy with that. Obviously, I think we'll maybe try to get one or two subs going. I think we'll do Caceres, I'd say. I don't think we really need to do anything else right now. Just get McGlynn time. Otherwise, though, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't think we need to worry too much here. Rodriguez is going to swing it forwards. No one can get onto it. But I think we've gotten a penalty here. Looks like there's been a push on someone. Maybe Brunelli. And we're going to get it. Who's going to step up here? It's Farias is going to step up. The young Argentine. Step up with a chance here. To make it 3-0 and he does sending the goalkeeper the wrong way and we've now gotten to a 3-0 lead against Ottawa through 60 minutes Farias is ninth of the season he's come in and after a bit of an interesting interesting start so far for us things not totally clicking all perfectly he's done well I think in the end to get nine I'm sure he's got a few assists as well so definitely double digit goal return maybe I think maybe in 15 goals and assists combined which would be lovely to see Edelman into Zuniga, who plays backwards. Nosita into the young young man from New Jersey. Duncan back to him. We're going to go all the way back to Cornell. Brunelli here. Can we find someone? We can find a Fori. Finds Rodriguez, who's long switch, can find Zuniga. He can fire us underneath. Back to him. Duncan, lovely job. Is there a cross? Rodriguez can't get onto it. Garcia just pokes it through, but it's been blocked by Fox, and we've got another corner here. Can we find the massive center back? Where is Nosita? Get his massive head on this ball. Can't get anything onto it, unfortunately. Brunelli is tiring, so we will go with Melanda there. Duncan is exhausted, so I think we'll go Wardle on for him cross and it's a goal Marcus Kaiser for Ottawa definitely a little bit of a poor poorly done from us there and we're going to concede uh, Duncan will take up for Wardle who will drop to a fullback on support oops fullback on support Swap these two sides quickly. Ah, you there, you there, you go to attack, you go to support, and you go to attack as well. Boom. Keep status quo going. Just swap sides. It's aggravating to concede a goal there. I really would have liked to keep the clean sheet. But again, it's a two goal two goal cushion for us. And currently Cincinnati and Monterey are drawing. And Brenner's missed a penalty as well, which is nice for us. Could we maybe add another here? Ottawa's forced into their own half here by the corner. Edelman's on to it. Can find a Fori. Wayward pass there. Really poorly done. A Fori. Come on, you and Melanda got to get back there, guys. Well defended there. Roy finds a player in the middle. Gagan can go back here. Long ball over the top. A four, you can deal with this well. All right, don't really need to smash that forward right now. We can deal with it well again. Nosita can win it, but it's now a chance for a shot. Melanda blocks it well. Another opportunity again off the post. Come on, guys. you got to be a little more composed here. 
Oh my god, he's run away from the ball. What are you doing there, Zuniga? Warlow goes long over the top and it's headed clear by Watson. That was very, very poor. We've really kind of just lost our heads toward the end of the game here right now. Not good at all. I'd be screaming at my team for that. Garcia having a very interestingly poor performance from someone who's been very good this season. So that's something you look at. But again, he's a young player, so we're going to expect some inconsistency at younger ages. I wouldn't be expecting him to be a seasoned, consistent veteran at this point. I think it should see us out, though. No real concern here. Maybe we add another late on. Nope. It's going to end off that tackle, and we are going to move on to the uh, move on to the next game. Uh, since we have, I think, three more to go, because five-team groups, so four games to be played. Um, a win is good to start off for sure. I think if you get nine points, you're automatically through, because it's the top two. I think that's how it works. I'm not certain. We are going to play Santos Laguna. I'm not certain when we will play them. It says the 10th. We'll play them on the 10th. So we'll play them on the on the 10th. That's what it is. Okay, we play them on that day. Well, geez, that is a lot going on. So next time I uh, see you guys, it will be for hopefully the uh, League's Cup final. We'll see what happens here. Obviously, I'll play these three games, but if we have a final or something else happening, I will uh, tune back in and bring you guys back for that. But regardless, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you had a wonderful time enjoying two victories against a Mexican and Canadian team with a bit of a change than normal playing some teams outside of the United States. But that's one of the wonders of playing in international competitions, which is we all love to see. So thank you again, everyone, for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to catch up on some future videos, see if we can win some trophies and maybe even catch up on a Red Bulls final and our first ever League Cup victory. That could be an interesting one for you guys. You can do so by hitting the notification bell as well. You guys also want to catch up on some of the prior videos, including a bit of a U.S. Open Cup run we had or how we've managed to turn our season around and having a brilliant June and July you can do that by following along at the playlist link to the end of this video or the one in the description below. Once again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one.